is there? Um, is in bed. Let me just do it that way. I was in bed, got a thought, got up, um, grabbed my guitar, and started playing this little rift of chords. And uh, it was kind of poppy, you know. Yeah. So I just kind of had this kind of groove going through my head, and um, just started, it just kind of poured out. Like I didn't know why. So it's a song that deals with God's there no matter what, your circumstance. Um, talks about all these different circumstances. Uh, the bridge, you know, talks about uh, in the trials that life can bring when you feel you're losing everything. Right. You know, he's there, and uh, when you come to lay it down, you can't see anyone else around, you know, he's there. Right. Um, really, that just lays out the whole song. But I didn't know. I brought it to you guys, um, and Justin was dealing with some stuff, and uh, it was a song for the hour that he needed. Yeah. And right away, it was a song that ministered to somebody because uh, at the time, I mean, it was I was just preaching to the choir, right? You know, it's kind of something that I didn't know why I wrote it, but I knew I was writing it for a reason. And uh, so I had the basics of it, and then you and Michael kind of generally like you do deal with the music side of it, so I don't know what was going through your head at that time, musically. Yeah, uh, musically, I mean, anyone who, who knows uh, knows me from a musical standpoint knows that I love the wall pedal. And, uh, That's a wall pedal song. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of wall going on in, in that verse, and, uh, and that kind of adds to that cool uh, poppy, funky vibe that's going on. And uh, yeah, I mean, he... You know, he pretty much wrote the whole song. I, you know, well, I mean, not pretty much. He, he did. Uh, I just kind of put a little bit of my uh, of my flavor into it, guitar-wise. Wrote the solo for it. Um, but yeah, everything else. I mean, the song came together pretty quickly, if I remember right. That was the first song that we had written once we finished the last album. That was the first song that we had written uh, um, as a band after that new. Um, so there are some, some songs that are older than that one, but songs that you had done before with Worship or whatever. Um, but technically, that's the oldest one that we wrote as a band after that last album. Right. And, uh, yeah, that song is always going to be special to me just because uh, just about everything that he lyrically put in that song, of course, like you said, he didn't, he didn't know what was going on in my heart, but uh, pretty much everything that he wrote uh, directly spoke to me, like, I was talking to Phil earlier that day, just going, hey man, I don't think I can do it. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to bail, or something's going to have to give here. And then Heath immediately comes in with this song, and it was, uh, it doesn't get any more God than that. And so, not just for that reason is it is it close to my heart, but just because I know that because it spoke to me that way, I know it has the potential to really help a lot of other people. I mean, the message is so powerful. It's very simple, and, you know, but, but God is there. He's always there. Always there. So... Oh, is that?